Hey guys, welcome back to the Parkiverse. In this video, we're going to continue to look at these awesome KWGT music widgets. But if you missed part 1, don't worry, because they're designed to build on top of each other, you can watch them in any order you want. So I'll leave a link for it at the end of the video. Now for those of you unfamiliar with the series, I share with you how to customize your KWGT widgets and show you how to build them from the ground up. So if you like this type of video, make sure you like and subscribe to show your interest. And if you have any video suggestions of your own, make sure you let me know in the comment section below. So here we are with episode 5 in the series. This time, we're going to be looking at music widgets. Specifically in this part, we're going to be covering these two stylistic setups. But before we jump into it, if you're after my live wallpapers, the link for those are going to be in the description below. Now that we've got that out the way, let's get into the music widgets. Now in order to follow this tutorial, you're going to need KWGT Custom Widget Maker and its Pro Key. So let's kick things off by making ourselves this stylistic music widget. Simply just load in a KWGT layout to your home screen. Personally, I always go with a 4x4 layout and then adjust it as I need to. Now simply tap on it to open the widget maker and hit new. So now that we have our blank canvas, let's start by adding in a new text item. Next, let's increase its size and using the text field, we're going to have it display the current title using the formula that I'm showing on screen. Now once you're done, let's head into the position tab and let's reposition it to the left hand side of the canvas. Now that that's done, let's repeat these steps, adding in another text item, which this time we're going to use to display the artist's name using the code here. Now simply reposition it and let's move on to the media bar. But before we do, if you've been struggling to keep up, make sure you check out the video in the top right corner for the full basics of KWGT manipulation. Now for the media bar, let's start by first adding in an overlay group. This is what we're going to use in order to make sure that the different elements of the media bar stay aligned. So within the group, let's start by adding in a new progress item. Now before we start adjusting the progress bar, let's reposition the group itself to the top left of the widget. Once done, feel free to customize the height and width of the progress bar as you see fit. Next, let's add some curves to the progress bar. For this, we're going to add in a new shape. Make sure to change it from the default square to a rectangle and then resize it to match the dimensions of the media progress bar. Now reposition it so it's perfectly covering the progress bar. And while you're here, make sure to adjust the cornering options in order to round off the edges. Next, let's head back into the progress bar and within the color tab, let's change the filter from normal to multiply. This means that only sections of the progress bar that overlaps with other items will be visible. So next, let's bring the progress bar to the front by simply dragging it to the bottom of the item list. Now before we forget, let's head back into the progress bar and change the progress type from showing the default battery to music playtime. Now as you're playing any type of media on your phone, this bar will automatically be filling up. Now for the final part of this widget, the progress tracking indicator. For this, within the overlay group, we're going to add in a new shape item, which we're going to turn from the default square into a circle and using the paint tab, we're going to change its color. And once you're happy with the way that it looks, let's head into the position tab and make it move along with the media bar. For this, make sure to use the tick boxes to select the left padding and then click on the calculator icon which will appear in the top right corner. This is going to allow us to enter the formula on screen to the left padding, which is going to move the indicator according to the media playback percentage. The percentage being how much of the song has been played. However, because the length of the progress bar was set to 300, we need to make sure our indicator's movement is scaled to match. This is where that 3 at the end comes in. Simply put, because the length of the media progress bar is 300, we need to times the percentage by 3 for the scaling to match. This means that if your progress bar length is 400, you need to times by 4 
And if it's 500, then by 5. Now all that's left is to change the shape's anchor position from center to center left. And we're done. You now have a stylistic music widget. But as a final note, if you're noticing a gap between your red circular indicator and your media progress bar, to fix this, just head back to the left padding formula and move the positioning back a bit by simply minusing a couple percentages. Such as here, I'm moving it back by minusing 5%. Next up, this vertical widget. You want to start by first adjusting your home screen widget layout before opening up a new canvas within KWGT. Now the first thing we want to do is load in a new shape, which we're going to change into a circle, resize, and then reposition it to the bottom of the canvas. And once you're happy, let's head over to the effects tab and assign the cover art to the shape. For this, just simply change the texture option to bitmap. Next, using the tick boxes, select bitmap and then click on the count clear icon which appears in the top right corner. Now simply add in the formula that I'm showing on screen within the bitmap section. Once done, regardless of the type of media playing on your phone, its available album art will be shown here. And finally, let's give it some functionality. Let's have it play and pause our media through the touch section. Just add in a new touch action and set this to music controls. Once done, make sure it's specified to play or pause. Now that we have the album art sorted, let's add in a new text item which we're going to use to display the artist's name and the current media title. Just simply enter the formula on screen within the text section. Next, let's scroll to the bottom of the text tab and change the rotation option to 270 degrees. Now all that's left to do is to resize and reposition it. Next up, the media progress bar. For this, we're going to follow the steps as we did in the first widget. Adding in a new overlay group, then a progress bar item, which we're going to use to show the playback time. And of course, let's add in that progress indicating shape. For this widget, we're not going to round off the corners of the progress bar as we want to keep that nice cornered look. So there's no need to change the filter or even add in a second bar shape. Now that the media bar set up, just as it was in the first widget, let's head to the overlay group and within the layer tab, here, we're going to rotate the whole group by 270 degrees. Now simply reposition it and let's look at a couple extra things. The first of which being within the text item itself. Simply head to the effects tab and here, just as we did with the circular shape, we're going to use the bitmap option to add the album art cover to the text itself. So as we're switching through different albums, the color of the text will change to match. And finally, if you're noticing that your widget text elements are repositioning themselves depending on the song that's playing, make sure to head to your text item and change its type to fit width. This will make it so your text will scale to fit your defined text item width. But if you're still having issues, you can also try anchoring the text to the center left within its positioning tab. And just like that, you got another unique setup. If you like this video and want to see more just like this, make sure you like and subscribe to help support the channel. And don't forget, if you missed part 1, make sure to check it out here. And make sure you check out my other Android customization videos. See you next time on Into the Parkiverse.